so sunny out here it is so crazy the weather is on point i am back in akron in my yard about to head home for the weekend and you want to know something this is going to be a good weekend you want to know why shout out to my sister and her fiance they're tying the knot tomorrow and i will be a part well i, I won't be a part of the festive well, yes, I will. I will be a part of the festivities tomorrow. This morning, I want I wanted to tell you guys that I woke up, as I always do. I, 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 put my hand, I'm a, I put my head in my hands. You know, thank God for waking me up and appreciate what he done for me. I baby wipe myself down, take my medicine, drink some water. In the midst of all that, I, I get on my, my, little, my little tablet and I go through all my, all my stuff. I go through my YouTube, my email, you know, Facebook, um, Instagram. And I came across this article that, that really hit to the heart. Uh, now I'm gonna be serious. A lot of your favorite YouTubers out there be telling you that this trucking game is all gravy. This trucking game is the best thing in the world. It's not all that cracked up to be. There's plenty of times where you in the truck by yourself with your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get so much grief in your life that you just don't know what to do. And then one day you decided to end it all. Unfortunately, that's what happened to some truckers this past, this past 24 hours. A father and son trucker. Uh, the son committed, committed suicide at his home and the, and the truck driver and, and the father committed suicide in this truck. Now the father, because of his son, was the reason why he committed suicide. His son committed suicide for whatever reason he has done but I just wanted to let you guys know that that mental health issue is a big issue in the trucking game you know what I'm saying it is it really is back to it man look you guys got to understand that when you get into this game you know just just don't just don't be there with your thoughts try to try to have your mind be busy you know think about the happiness think about what you got at home think about what you what you could possibly do think about the future and what you could possibly build all right i experience depression all the time all the time you know what i'm saying but i i got people that i can reach out to i got i got people that i could talk to now and and sometimes it helps. It really does. It helps. All right, let's let's get up in the truck right quick. Let's uh let's talk about it. I'll I'll read the article to you guys and and um and finish out. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it's so tragic right now that I that I get up this morning and um read my read my email and everything and um i i see this coming through cdl life um a father and son trucker suicide unbelievable man it's unbelievable that that both of these gentlemen had died within 24 hours of each other. The son committed suicide for whatever reason. His father was so heartbroken over the fact that his son had committed suicide and he committed suicide. It's, it's, Mental health in trucking 
is a serious thing. And I, I have spoken about this before. I made a video about this before. But I, you know, I, I experience depressions at times. It, it it just it just it it just hits you like like a wave of wind it just hits you at any point in time i always said that being idle you know being idle and you know and you, and you got messed up thoughts being idle is not a good thing you you got to find something to do you know you, you got to find something to do. You got to get out of the truck, walk around, experience the area. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you do your 34, don't just do your 34 at a, at a truck stop for two days. You know, even though some of these companies inspect you to, to do that. But get out, catch an Uber, go and experience the city that you're in. Father and son who died by suicide within 24 hours of each other has rocked the trucking community and is highlighting the toll that trucking can take on the driver's mental health. It can. It really can. It, it, it can. This week, 26-year-old Andreas Underless. Un I can't pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to try. And his father, also same name. They're, you know, he was a senior and he was a junior. Both passed away by suicide within one day of each other. Senior reportedly committed suicide at an Alabama truck stop after learning that Junior had killed himself at his home a day before. Junior was a popular figure on Instagram and was well known in the trucking community in Florida. So the news left many of his fellow drivers shocked, confused, and saddened. That is a nice truck. And it's it's sad, you know, for whatever reason that he took his life. I mean This is just some pictures of him right here. Him and his old man right there in the wake of the death of many members of the trucking community are raising the call for increased suicide awareness and prevention trucking can take an immense toll on a driver's mental health drivers are often isolated under under extraordinary pressure and not well treated by people that they encounter at the shippers and receivers or, and at the truck stops. Truckers bear the weight of heavy responsibility to highway safety and can experience extreme guilt, grief, if they do become involved in a crash where someone gets hurt, even if it isn't their fault. If anything positive, can come out of this tragedy let it be that we resolve to be kind to one another let's take the time to check in on our friends smile at a fellow driver promise to tell someone that is that is okay today look i always tell you guys that if you need to talk to me now i'm not a i'm going to be honest with you I, i'm not a people person I, I never was. I, I, I'm not a people person. But if you really need somebody to talk to or somebody to have an ear, I'm all ears. In other words, here for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if I need somebody to talk to or something like that, I mean, I, I got people that I can find that I can talk to. You know, I, I know I might be a complete stranger to you, but if you really need somebody to talk to about you know about your problems and I'm all like that, ears reach in other words me. here for you you know what I'm saying reach out to me I, and I will sit there and I will listen you know this this is serious you know like I said I talked about it before and it's it's serious that these two gentlemen lost their you know 
took their lives for whatever reason. Well, Senior took his life because of of the hardship of knowing that his son died. So, look, drivers, let me let me tell y'all something. All right, it's gonna be okay. All right, whatever the problems that y'all having today, it's gonna be all right. You know, God woke you up this morning. You got up. You're in good health. You are able to drive. You're able to get the product to wherever it needs to be safe. And you, you're here. You're with us. You're with the community. So let's stop all this bullshit. Let's stop all this drama. Let's stop all of this, all of this hate shit. You see what I'm saying? We need to get over this bullshit. We need to get over the hump. You know what I'm saying? So if you had a trust stop, if you had a at a at a at a shipper or a receiver, or you even if you pass a driver, chunk up the deuce. I chunk up the deuce for the south and the north. One minute was the sweet but much. Say what's up. Say how you doing. Hold the door for a trucker or something like that. Thank a trucker. Can you do that? Can you, can you instead of in, instead of being evil, magis, maniacal, can you can you be nice to us when you see us when you see us filling up? Tap a tap a dude on the shoulder. What's up, man? Give that man the grip or the pound. That's what I'm going to start doing. It's not like I haven't been doing it, but I'm going to do it more. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of you guys take us y'all y'all take us for granted. Y'all y'all see dollar signs when y'all see us coming. So, y'all want to take advantage of us some kind of way. We get taken advantage of all the time. Not by not not by just regular people, but we get taken advantage of of everything i had to uh all right sorry about that i had to take that but um but yeah when you see us you know what i'm saying show at least show a little a little bit of gratitude a little bit of appreciation for what we do and what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis and if you guys want to reach out to me man i'm all ears in know, other words here Instagram, for you hit me in my dm uh lockoutmen at gmail.com hit me up with that and um and yeah we'll, we'll we'll chop it up man you know what i'm saying we'll chop it up if you like the content on my channel for whatever reason Make sure you hit uh hit the like button. Make sure you make sure you share this uh this video. Cause somebody might need to hear it. Alright? Somebody might need to hear it. Somebody might need to watch it. Somebody just might need a ear. Well that's it, y'all. Um I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Um, if you do, make sure you hit the like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Make sure you hit the bell. And definitely leave your comments in the comments below. Uh, I may not be able to get back to you in time on the comments because I get a lot on the daily. But I will uh, eventually get around to commenting uh, to you guys. Um, also, if you feel uh, suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, there is a National Suicide Prevention Hotline, and that is a 24-hour hotline. It's 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-8255. Um, Again, this father and son, you know, talk to you guys later.